Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and Founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft's Group Policy Preferences item level targeting. So here's the idea. Let's say you've got a Group Policy object, and I'll call this uh, Test123, and I click Edit on this guy. If we take a look inside and we look at the Group Policy Preferences items, there's a zillion things you can do. And as a lot of you know, I have a Group Policy training class on the Group Policy Preferences. But I want to talk about a very specific piece of it, which is that for every single item you create, like a shortcut, let's say I want to create this shortcut on the desktop and make it a URL, like www.policypack.com, and I'll give it a little lock icon. Okay. Now, if I were to just hit go right here, Every East, oops, every East Sales user is going to get this particular setting because it's linked over, this entry is linked over to, oh, sorry, to my West Sales users. Okay, so all of my West Sales users are going to get this. You know, but it doesn't have to be that way. I could click on the item, click on common, and select item level targeting. And when I do this, the targeting editor appears, and I can hone in where I want and when I want this to occur. For instance, if I only want it to occur when it's on a particular IP range or when the operating system is Windows 7 uh, whatever or Windows XP. Uh, another one of my favorites one, favorite one is uh, just group membership. So they could be in this OU but then you're filtering based upon if they're a member of a particular security group. So in this way you can sort of hone in and craft who exactly is going to get this particular item. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use computer name. So I'm going to say that I'm going to get this first shortcut for policy pack when the NetBIOS computer name is, and here's a little superpower, I'm going to do star 32 star. So all the computers that have the, the name uh, 32 in the name will, will pick this item up. Okay, that's a little extra, kind of little bonus. And I'm going to create another one for, say, GP Answers. I'll go to URL and go to desktop, go to gpanswers.com. And this time I'll pick my favorite icon, the little tree icon. And I only want this item to appear when the computer name has star 64, okay? So, oops, so it has to match has to have a match of the of six and four in the name. So those are my two items. So normally both of these would appear on both of my desktops, but that's not what's going to happen here. So if I run GP update on this computer and I go over here and run GP update on that computer, let's go back to the first one and boom, there's the policy pack icon, but we don't get the uh, GP answers icon because that didn't match. If I go over to this one, boom, we get the GP answers icon, but not the policy pack icon. So that's group policy preferences item level targeting in a nutshell. Um, for some advanced tricks, you could also uh... so that's group policy preferences item level targeting in a nutshell. Hope that helps you out. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you soon. To find out more about how Netrix Policy Pack can simplify modern desktop security and management, go to netrix.com slash netrixpolicypack.